Hey guys, thank you for watching. Welcome to my channel. This is Breaking Burke. It is about houseplants and gardening here in the desert of Albuquerque, New Mexico. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you a bit of an unboxing. I will have another video like this coming up in the week because I got a couple orders in and I don't want it to be too long of a video, so I'm breaking it up. Uh, my name is Albert. I keep forgetting to mention that, and I have some people like, well, who the heck is this? So, uh, I don't show my face in my videos, and maybe I will eventually, but right now I'm not comfortable with that, so uh, we'll just get to the unboxing. This here is a uh, summerific French vanilla hibiscus, a hearty hibiscus. You can see it does have a very faint yellow tone to it. Uh, and a red center, which is very beautiful. See if we can actually see the root itself. They send these as dry root or uh, bare root. So it does have some uh, material in there to keep it wet. I've never seen them send them like this with this type of material in here. Normally it's wood shavings or moss, but I guess things changed because the other stuff is in too big a demand. Uh, you will see a common thread here, or a theme. I did order a bunch of hibiscus. This, you can't tell because there's no picture, but this is a larger, uh, specimen. It does have a couple of branches coming out here, so it'll be a nice full plant. And if you look closely, it is starting to bud out, so I'm gonna have to get these in the ground before they do grow, because if not, I could put them in a shock. But this is... Blackberry Merlot. It's a burgundy type hibiscus. And these are hardy hibiscus so they can last in the ground in my area. I got a couple of these because they were on sale. You can see there's one sticking up here at the top. Uh, some nice big chunky roots at the bottom. Another one over here. But this is uh, Midnight Marvel Hibiscus. These get to about four feet tall, and you want to plant with the crown of the soil line. What that means is, right here, once you start to see the color change, I don't know if you can see it, when it goes from green to yellow, that's where you want to plant it. The crown is the very top of the plant where the leaves start to emerge, or the branches. So that's where you want to plant it. And I will show you uh, further in depth when I plant them. I got a couple of those, so let me check. This is the same thing. Again, another nice big full pack. They were on sale and I do plan on sharing those. That's why I got extras. And here's the third pack. There are three packs. So, uh, I have plans. This one here, let me see if I can turn the tag so you can actually see what it is. This is Edge of Night Hibiscus. I don't know if you can see that. But it's got a nice pink shade to it and dark foliage. With these hibiscus, when they have the dark foliage like that, the more sun, the darker the foliage. So you do want to give them full sun. These say full sun to part sun. But in my experience, uh, hibiscus need more sun to bloom and act better. They can take any range of environments and are very hardy. Uh, actually down to zone four or five this says it gets from 36 to 42 inches tall and uh they do best with deadheading deadheading is just cutting off the spent blooms so you uh don't waste energy putting uh growth there for nothing and this here i don't know if we'll be able to see it through the bag but if you've ever done any planting you should be pretty familiar with that shape of bulb that is a lily bulb and these are supposed to be lily trees. They grow up to uh, eight feet. I've had one that got about seven. And this package says that it grows one to three or three to four feet the first year, five to six the second, and six to eight the third. Something ate all my, or a lot of my lily bulbs. I think it was squirrels last year. I had a very bad infestation with squirrels. And though I did get rid of them, they claimed a few of my plants because they haven't come back yet, or probably won't ever. And this one here uh, is a type of helianthus. Helianthus is a sunflower. 
This is Maximilian sunflower, or commonly called false sunflower. These actually do grow native in my area, and I could have went and hunted one down, but that's not really ethical. Uh, you want to leave wild plants in the wild, that's why they're there. So I figured I would do the right thing and purchase them from a nursery. So uh, very drought tolerant. These are actually amazing because they start blooming uh, mid to late summer and go through the fall till it freezes. And these get about, uh, this says two to three feet. Oh no, that's the spacing. They actually get five to six feet tall. And for something to take full sun in the desert and still keep blooming, is pretty remarkable so definitely one of my top picks I've wanted that for a while I actually got a couple plants earlier in the season and I left them in the car so they kind of got cooked uh, here is a bag you're not really gonna be able to see much of these there is a little eye there see that pink spot there and there's some roots right there. These are tubers from peonies. Uh, this is normally how the bulbs would come. See the wood shavings? They usually come moist like that but for some reason like I said I don't know if it's because they're running short on wood shavings or it got too expensive but for the most part they changed those. And the last thing in this bag or box rather is this bag in front of me. This is Summerific Spinderella Hibiscus. You can see it does have the nice uh, dark red center. And the reason it's called Spinderella is because it looks like there's splashes of white that spin out from the center of each leaf or petal. So very pretty. Right there you can see it does say perennial. This one does grow a little bit taller, 48 to 54 inches. Uh, and that's the thing about these hibiscus, depending on what lineage they come from, they can grow uh, super tall and be covered in a bunch of flowers. Or the more compact varieties have even more flowers because they're bred to branch out more and not grow so much in height. However, uh, with the newer varieties and the hybrids, they're not all that reliable when it comes to producing seed. So if you like to grow or start stuff from seed, Going with a uh, older, more established variety is probably the way to go. So that's about it. You can see we got an empty box here in front of us. Uh, this was a bit of a pricey order that I put in. I tried doing this last year and I got two bulbs out of like, well, two bags of bulbs out of like 20 that I ordered. So a little bit more of a success this time, but still there are a couple things that I'm not sure it made it in here or that I'm going to have to double check my order because, yeah, a little confused. But thank you for watching. Have a great day. I look forward to showing you when I'm going to put these in the ground. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and see you in the next one. Bye.